Hey guys, got another video for you. Today we're going to be taking the Drake Corsair out for a spin. Only flown this ship one other time. Wanted to give it another go. See what kind of features it can offer. I have a lot of friends that use the ship as a all-arounder. Do a quick look around the ship here. Let you guys take in the aesthetics of the ship. I think it looks really cool. Got great body lines. The fold out wings is really cool. Also got some pretty impressive firepower. Two manable turrets, four weapons here in the front. Room for four people, at least bed wise and pretty good amount of space in the back won't necessarily get you a lot of cargo but as far as transporting vehicles or maybe doing some small runs pretty great Walking in the back here, you can see really decent space, nice wide door, not super tall, but definitely we'll be able to fit a couple vehicles in here. We're going to give it a try. You'll notice the ship has a bunch of these panels where you can turn the lights on and off and, and open and close doors. A lot of the doors use this panel instead of typically clicking the door itself. As we walk through the ship, it's got a pretty decent layout. Got this nice engineering area, this circular walkway around here, hexagonal or octagonal, whatever it is, different engineering systems. Then you move into the hab area. Three bedrooms here, chow hall, little elevator to the right. One other bed at the front near the cockpit area, but it's pretty similar to the others. I guess you could say it was captain's quarters. Turrets here on your left and right as you walk up to the bridge. And of course your main pilot and co-pilot area. You'll notice like a lot of the Drake ships the cockpit has this industrial combat look. Kind of looks like a old American helicopter or jet fighter. Lots of toggles and switches. Got that light green yellowish kind of glow tinge to it. Big fan. 
We're going to go to Selen here. Uh, it's a moon uh, of Crusader. And we're going to go to Hicks Research Outpost. From what I read online, there's a pretty scenic area out there. You can use the outpost as a landmark to get there. We're going to go to the outpost and see if they have a spawn pod for on pad for ground vehicles see what we can fit in there and then we're gonna find a nice spot to, to put this thing down and take in some scenery Love the way the sun comes up over Seraphim. Just such a great view every time I leave here. Sun just hits the side of these ships and they just look fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and extend out the wings now so you can see what it looks like in full flight mode. So we're gonna fly out over Crusader for a little bit, just kind of get a look at the view, the ship over the planet and the sun coming up here. Then we're going to quantum over to Selen. We just jumped out of quantum. We're going to head over here to the outpost now. You'll notice here in a minute in the distance, there's a player doing some dog fighting. They looks like they take out about three targets. Pretty cool. You'll see little explosions in the background. It works out well because 
ends up not being really any activity around the outpost when we get there. Don't have to worry about being disturbed by anybody. We're arriving at the outpost now. I'm going to take the landing pad closest to the spawn pads or the ground vehicles, which luckily they do have. Initially, I was going to land it here and face it towards this one ramp. Uh, but you can see I start to struggle with trying to land the ship. And this may be operator error, but uh, something about the Corsair and turning, it really just doesn't seem to like it. You'll see later in the video also, like, at full speed, I, I still can't manage to get it to turn. I don't know what it is. Uh, here, I think the throttle was just a little too high, so I kept overcorrecting. I also uh, underestimated how long the front actually is. It seemed much shorter from the back, but now i got to fix that. This actually works out in my favor because the back's now facing appropriately towards the spawn pads for the vehicles. Fumble my way through the buttons trying to find the door toggle.
Try to get the obligatory action shot walking away from the ship. Love the orc armor. Fantastic looking. All right, first vehicle I'm gonna spawn is the mule. One of my favorite ground vehicles. I don't really know how practical it is right now. I think it can transfer or carry some cargo, but I generally just like driving around. Full six wheel, heavy duty work machine. I'm gonna see how she fits on the Corsair. it in now I'm trying to get it lined up to make as much room as I can without blocking any opportunities to walk around the vehicle or get on the ship or get out of the vehicle it likes to pivot very easily so I'm trying to line it up properly here you'll see that there's plenty of room left so we're gonna go get another vehicle now I'm gonna grab the rock this time. This is the mining vehicle. Again, just to show the uh, utility of the Corsair. Be prepared for anything. We'll have the mule, we'll have a mining vehicle. Maybe we'll fit something else on there. That is my uh, Nova over on the other pad. I tried to fit it in the Corsair, but it was too tall. Definitely would have fit if it was tall enough. Uh, there's plenty of width, but we'll leave that for the Hercules. Rock for some reason is making very loud, awful noise constantly. I don't remember it sounding like this all the time. Maybe it's a bug, I'm not sure. Could just be misremembering. Initially going to line it up here with the mule and then I realized that uh, it may keep me from being able to get other vehicles in here that might be a little longer. You can see the rock is slightly longer than the, the mule itself. So I'm going to move the rock in front of the mule. I think there's plenty of room there and accidentally love tap it there. plenty of room I honestly think you could potentially get four rocks in this ship if you wanted to definitely you could get four mules no doubt all right I'm not gonna push my luck with too many big vehicles but I am gonna go ahead and try and load the ever sketchy Epo Knox I think that's how you pronounce it basically um, jet bike 
and uh, anyone that's used these knows they are a little wild. If you're out in an open area, they're great, but putting them on a ship, tight area, very sketchy. And you'll see me struggle a little bit with this. Already off the bat, I had to go back into first person mode because it's so sensitive and all over the place. Thank you. Please I'm just trying to make sure I don't blow it up or myself for that matter. Very carefully going to try and squeeze this thing on here. Plenty of room, but like I said, this thing has a mind of its own. I'm going to use the uh, control key here to bring it down. I don't know why it sits so high off the ground. But it did come down a bit, so we're just going to ease it in here, and then I'm going to try and line it up so that I can still walk around. I also notice when I shut it off, it like just drops out of the sky almost. I mean, it's like easily like four or five feet off the ground, it seems like. Then when you shut it down, it just plumps. But there you go. Easily have all three vehicles inside. Probably could have gotten one more in there, but I'm not going to push my luck. Again, great utility uh, ship. It can easily fit multiple vehicles, some cargo, what have you. Take all your friends with you and still put up a fight if needed. All right, we're going to take off from the research outpost and I'm going to find a nice place to put us down and have some good scenery. Got some reading I need to do IRL, so I figured why not find a nice place to put the ship down and do some reading. I'm going to head towards the horizon that has the light coming over it. Got Crusader there in the background gonna look for a cool spot to put this down so then when I log back in on the ship I have a beautiful view and if I want I can hop in one of the vehicles and go explore a little bit you can't tell right now but you'll see when I go back to first person I am trying my hardest right now to turn to the left there are those kind of mountains or hills there uh, in the on the horizon and uh, I'm trying to go that way there you can see the cursor. For whatever reason, the ship just does not like to turn. I noticed if I came off the throttle a good bit, it would start to turn and I could bank it a little, but I've never had a ship that has struggled this much, especially in atmosphere. Just kind of getting to where the light's starting to come up and touch some of these craters, these asteroid impact areas. I'm gonna start looking for a place that we can put it, put it down. 
see here the thrusters in the back moving. I was just checking out the VTOL mode, see if that affected the, the flight pattern at all, trying to turn, didn't really make a difference. VTOL's great for stability. Uh, it's completely unnecessary for landing ships uh, if needed, but if you are gonna spend a lot of time low flying or sitting still but not landed on the ground, use VTOL, it'll help keep the ship stable. All right, I'm just looking for a nice flat spot. I don't wanna land in a crater and be kinda of off, off kilter, so I'm just gonna flip down in here and find a nice flat spot to land on. Look at that nice bright star shining, blackness of the sky in the background. The way the sun hits the metal on the Corsair just looks fantastic. Nice easy touchdown. All right, well, I'm gonna go bed log, do some reading, like I said, and then I'm gonna come back, hopefully make some more content for you guys. Maybe take uh, some of the vehicles out. If there's anything you guys specifically want to see, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to uh, do that for you. Otherwise, have a good day. Peace out.